I got my first tattoo stupidly at 17 years old. I waltzed into a studio that I knew my friends got tattooed at and uh, I sat down there waiting. And the guy says, how old are you? And you know, you put the deep voice on, oh, I'm 18. And uh, in you go, you sit down and you, you take your choice. Yeah. It was a blue rose straight off of Google Images. I guess it's not the worst tattoo that I've got. I've done a lot more stupid things since then, but uh, definitely not one of my proudest moments. <laughs> For me, Going full-time as a tattoo artist was something that didn't require much thought. Uh, I absolutely loved the job and from the minute I first put needle to skin, so to speak, I just knew that this was something that I really wanted to make into a career and spend the rest of my life doing. Yeah! Tattoos take different times based on how big they are and how detailed they are, how many colours you're using. I suppose the average palm size tattoo in, in full colour could take you anywhere between one and two hours to complete, but if it's a rather simplistic design, it could be something that takes as little as half an hour. My first tattoo was a peony on my ankle. I got a unilone and a lotus, kind of mixed together. It was my little mermaid one. My favourite styles of tattoos to draw up and design probably neo-traditional and traditional work. Uh, with traditional work you can make it quite fun and funky and, and it's a very simplistic design and it's more in the execution of how you would do the tattoo. With the neo-traditional you can be a little bit more out there, you can kind of twist a bird's wing at an angle that perhaps it wouldn't normally go, um, you can really curl a snake, you know you can really add some depth and, to your pieces and, and play with colours. So they're my two favourite things to, to kind of do. I think that tattoos are really growing in popularity now. Um, it's something that's becoming a lot more widespread and a lot more people are accepting it as part of everyday society. Um, a tattoo isn't just a tattoo anymore, it doesn't represent you being a convict or a negative person anymore, but it can actually display things that you enjoy in your life, things that mean a lot to you, it can be a way of people coping with pain and I think that tattoos are becoming a lot more woven into our culture, into the fabric of culture today. I love tigers and they mean a lot to me because they're all about kind of self-courage and being kind of, you know, brave and bold and that's kind of what I want to be. Some have meaning, some don't. Like, my aerial one has significant meaning. Like, my sugar skull, me and my mum got matching ones. So that those ones kind of have meaning, but like my flowers and stuff like that, they I just got them on a whim kind of thing, but I still really love them anyway, so. I think they're just an expression. I don't think they have to mean anything or they can mean something, but they're just kind of pretty. It's like piercings, it's just what you can get to make your body look different. The main reasons that I'm a tattoo artist, I guess, is because I love the job. I love coming to work every day with a smile on my face and just enjoying, really enjoying what I do. Um, it's, it's the best thing when you love your job and just to know that when your client walks out of the studio they've got something that they're going to carry with them for the rest of their life that they are really, really in love with is just the best feeling. It gives you an enormous sense of well-being. A lot of people deal with the pain of getting tattoos by either shutting themselves off or listening to music or just talking to you. As the artist, I think it's quite important that you talk your way through a tattoo to some clients just to kind of centre them really and uh, help them get through the experience. Um, I dealt with the pain kind of by tensing every single muscle in my body. <laughs> Uh, the worst of ones, I had my friends come and let me like squeeze their hands like I was going through childbirth. I always have uh, sig breaks. I have a lot of sig breaks. <laughs> um, my uh, artist knows that I'm, it's getting too much when instead of saying it's sore, I start saying it's sore. For 
for me, a lot of outrageous places that you get asked to tattoo, you just don't. Um, you need a really serious client in order to actually go ahead with this. I've done quite a lot of tattoos on people's backsides um, and a few around the breast area, but I've done nothing that's overly outrageous. Within the next five years, um, I'd hope to be working alongside some other people rather than just having the studio by myself. Um, I feel that it would be nice to kind of expand the team here and kind of bounce ideas across between each other, maybe kind of share some experience and different techniques and whatnot. But I would still say that I see myself firmly into the tattooing scene.